Yo, what is up guys? It's the Goblin and basically what happened is we have the official Call of Duty Infinite Warfare reveal trailer now out um, for obviously the next Call of Duty. It also has a bit on the COD 4 remaster right at the end. This trailer just came out. You guys can check it out on the Call of Duty channel. Basically, they leaked about half of the trailer. It was leaked through Hulu. I made a video on that earlier and then they decided to just throw the trailer up on their YouTube channel about seven hours early, which is absolutely crazy. So a lot of people are still sleeping and this came out. It's like three in the morning right now i'm gonna watch this thing right now i'm gonna be pausing it do a little breakdown now i want you guys to know this is not a in-depth breakdown where i look at every single little detail this is me looking at it me reacting to the call of duty trailer breaking it down for you guys and i want you guys to let me know in the comment section down below what you think is going on with all that sort of stuff and if you guys could drop a like on this thing and all that sort of stuff would be awesome so let's get right into it i'm gonna play right here the call of duty infinite warfare reveal trailer so this trailer has a bunch of stuff going on it I'm probably going to play it for you guys right here. You guys can check it out and listen here. So basically, you guys probably should have checked out the whole trailer already. As you guys can see, this first little bit is just an opening scene, and I'm only going to pause it at the stuff that really does matter. So it seems like we have some sort of nuclear explosion right at the start. Obviously, Infinity Ward coming through, Infinite Warfare, Infinity Ward. Right here, we have basically the nuke goes off. Everyone's running out. This guy looks sort of like a zombie running away. I don't know if that means anything. And boom, let's pause it right there because we have something up on the screen. Let me go back a second to that. What we have on, on the screen right now, it looks like these weapons and these characters look so similar to advanced warfare it's actually kind of crazy this weapon i don't know how to explain it it kind of looks like some sort of a p90 futuristic variant obviously this this call of duty is super far futuristic apparently we don't know the exact date so far but it's super duper futuristic the most futuristic call of duty we've ever got so far and this gun looks pretty cool it looks like some sort of an smg that that girl is holding and right behind her, you can see a robot kind of looks these guys kind of look similar to specialists from black ops 3 but they're holding these weapons and let's keep the trailer moving right now they both have the same weapon right here obviously we have play, people being saved from this nuclear explosion this trailer once again I want to pause and let you guys know this trailer is basically for campaign and for the whole game in total and what I'm going to try to take from this trailer is the best things and uh, basically take anything that could have to do with multiplayer in this trailer and bring it out to you guys so that's the first thing we got was that weapon and we'll play this trailer through here. Um, as you guys can see, spaceships, we all knew we were going to space with this next Call of Duty game. Right there, we can pause it and we see another weapon up on the screen right now. Obviously, I don't really know what weapon that is. Um, we can check it out. Let me rewind right here on my screen because I have to pause it. That weapon, I really don't know. It looks like some sort of an SMG. It looks like the same weapon we had in the previous thing. It looks sort of like a P90 futuristic gun. Obviously, a lot of the guns in Call of Duty are made-up guns or real guns with made-up names. So we don't know any of these names for the, these guns. And next, we have another scene with a guy holding a gun. This gun looks similar to like a G11, I would say, from Black Ops 1. Not really sure if you guys are familiar with that gun. And then it cuts to another scene with the guy running. And we have a huge battle breakout. Now, one thing I want you guys to pay attention for is right there on the left... Right there on the left, we have people thrust jumping. Now, I'll probably replay that for you guys. We have a few people thrust jumping. Boom, boom. People that have been talking about the thrust saying no thrust, thrust confirmed. This is really the only sign of thrust jumping we see in this whole trailer. And I'll replay it for you guys a few times right there. It looks like there's thrust jumping at least in campaign. We really don't know about the multiplayer. Once again, this is just the reveal trailer. This, we don't know if it's campaign, multiplayer, all that sort of stuff. Obviously, I wouldn't say that this means thrust jumping is confirmed in the multiplayer, but from this trailer, this game looks a lot like Advanced Warfare. Um, hopefully, it's a bit different. I think that Infinity Ward is a really good studio, and they're going to come through with us for this trail uh, with this game. But obviously, it looked like we had a thrust right there, and let's keep the trailer going. We have more explosions going off, a guy chucking a grenade, blowing some people up, and basically a big battle going on right here. None of this really tells us anything about multiplayer. Right there, we have a guy do a little tumble, similar to like a vein cue from League of Legends. At 1 minute 10 in this trailer, we have a guy do a tumble. I'll show it for you guys again. Could this be a movement in multiplayer? Who knows? Once again, we can't confirm anything from a reveal trailer. If that is a move in multiplayer, I think that's similar to like what Gears of War has. I think it uh, is the game that I played that has a tumble like that. Could play well. I want to see some sort of movement system that's not advanced warfare, but not the old Call of Duties as well. I want the movement system to be pretty good in this next Call of Duty game. So that's something to take note of, that little tumble right there. 
let's keep this going we obviously have more spaceship action flying in more soldiers on the ground getting bombed and all that sort of stuff and right here is where the trailer gets sort of interesting a spaceship shows up your character hops in and boom he takes off and not only does he take off above the land he takes off into space and this next scene that we get right here is literally some star wars stuff man like this just watch this he's taken off he's taken off and what we get right here is just absolutely insane. The dude goes into... This looks straight out of the new Star Wars movie, this scene. Sergeant Reyes, obviously the guy we had leaked from all that Nuketown and stuff. And these look like Star Wars ships. Obviously, I don't think these ships are going to be into um, multiplayer. This is all campaign stuff. And the campaign actually looks pretty interesting. Um, obviously, I don't... <laughs> multiplayer is not going to be space battles like a Star Wars video game. This is just campaign, so I don't want people to worry too much. Some people see these things and they worry so much. And the rest of this trailer we have is just a lot of cinematic sequences. And it looks like the campaign of this game will be pretty good. Um, I think that this character looks a lot like uh, Advanced Warfare, a character from Advanced Warfare. And that's the old major vibe I'm getting. That's the same weapon as well as pause it right there. What we have right there is sort of a thing from Advanced Warfare, the grapple with that same sort of SMG that we had earlier. This game is looking a lot like Advanced Warfare as well as its own independent game. Obviously, it's Infinite Warfare. It's not an Advanced Warfare sequel because if you guys don't know, Advanced Warfare was actually made by Sledgehammer Games. And this game, Infinite Warfare, is actually made by um, Infinity Ward, obviously. Why was I blanking there? Infinite Warfare, Infinity Ward. So that's why it's not a sequel to Advanced Warfare. It's its own independent game. And let's keep going right there. We had a grapple. We obviously saw that with the DLCs in Advanced Warfare. And let's keep the trailer moving. He rips that guy's neck off. And the rest of this stuff is mostly just campaign with the same gun. We see right there a character with what sort of seems like a backpack or some sort of... He def definitely has the at like an Atlas logo from Advanced Warfare. Something like... Look at the back, man. It kind of like... This is the official trailer, man, but it looks like Advanced Warfare. This guy's, what he has on his back, absolutely looks like, once again, this is just my first reactions, and I'm one of the first YouTubers to watch this, so if other YouTubers come out after saying, confirming what these things are, this is first reactions, baby, and this this thing, like, that guy, this guy looks exactly like a guy from Advanced Warfare. I don't know if it's just me. Once again, he has that same sort of weapon, looks like a futuristic P90. Right here, we have a guy, sort of the gravity. Yeah, look at this right here. In this scene right here, we have no gravity. So this is something to do with space. I'm hoping, come on, like the multiplayer has to have gravity. Um, I think a lot of people's worries for this game are not going to come true because a lot of a lot of things you see in this trailer are once again are going to be for campaign it's not it's not going to be space battles and multiplayer i think the multiplayer of this game will have some sort of movement system but it will still be good and i don't think there will be zero gravity maps obviously we have a lot of robotics and stuff going on in the trailer right here as well as um this is scene right here and we can see a lot of cool cinematics it looks like the campaign mode is going to have some very cool cinematics it looks like every single soldier is holding that same weapon and they're really only showing showing us that one weapon and that's it for Infinite Warfare, November 4th, 2016. So a pretty interesting trailer. That's my breakdown of it right there. If you want to see the whole thing through without a breakdown, you can obviously watch that on the Call of Duty um, official YouTube channel, as well as my video earlier link to it. Um, and now we get into the good part. So this next uh, 30 seconds right here is Call of Duty 4. And it's all Call of Duty 4. It, look at this. Oh my goodness. This is the Call of Duty 4 campaign. The one right over the around the wet work multiplayer map. Look at the graphics of this. I have to slow this down and show it to you guys. This Call of Duty 4, it looks like, like the exact same wet work with insane graphics. And this is, a, I can't even believe that this remaster is actually true, man. I'm so excited about it. And we can see everything going on here. Call of Duty 4, baby, remastered. Right here, the guy pops the night vision goggles. And I'll slow it down for you guys. He has the AK-47. That does not look like an AK-47 from COD 4 Iron Sights. It looks sort of like the AK-47 from Advanced Warfare Iron Sights. Who knows? Are they changing the weapons up in um, Call of Duty 4 Remastered? We don't know. And then here we have it. Pre-order the Legacy Edition includes Call of Duty Modern Warfare Remastered Campaign 10 multiplayer maps, $79.99. That's American dollars, I assume. And um, that's a pretty good price. Only $10 extra for COD 4. I'm pretty sure they, they're trying to push COD 4 and everyone's going to be buying this version with the COD 4. But that is it for today's trailer breakdown. It looks pretty good. A lot of people are hating already saying, oh, boost jump. We want the old Call of Duty. I mean, it was space themed and infinite warfare. If you thought that was going to be an older Call of Duty, you're kind of crazy in my books. Obviously, infinite warfare, the space theme 
it kind of seems futuristic and it is going to be futuristic. Obviously, I wouldn't get too worried about the things like the no gravity and stuff that we've seen from this trailer. Hope you guys will support me on this trailer breakdown. This is my first reaction. Even if you guys don't think the trailer looks good, support me. I'm up here at three in the morning breaking down this trailer for the people that care about Call of Duty like myself. Drop a like on this thing. Subscribe to me if you guys are new. I would really appreciate that if you guys could all do that. And uh, you guys are the best subscribers on YouTube. Thank you for watching this trailer breakdown of Call of Duty Infinite Warfare. It's coming November 4th. And I, I recommend you guys all get the Legacy Edition. 10 bucks extra to get COD 4. It's so worth it, even if you never played COD 4. Thanks for watching this video. I'm out. Subscribe for Cookie. Have a great day. Peace.